Hi, welcome to the channel. If this is your first time seeing my hands, hi, I'm Erin of Playing Life with Erin, and I'm so excited you decided to stop by and check the, check out this video. Thanks so much for being here. And if you're returning, hey, hey, how have you been? All right, guys, I had a lot of requests to do a full year flip. So it happens to be New Year's Eve, so happy New Year's to you. Um, and I thought this was a great opportunity to go through 2023 and my Hobonichi cousin, and let me tell you, this girl chunked out pretty good. And um, I've already kind of looked through it. And I am really excited to um, have completed this planner. If you've been around on the channel for a little bit, um, you've heard me say that I've found a planner piece in the Hobonichi Cousin. And I have to say, um, out of all of the journals and planners that I've had throughout my life, this is the one that is like 98.999% filled out. So I am really excited. Um, 2023 was a fantastic year. A lot of a lot of great things happened for us in 2023. So without further ado, let's do a 2023 Hobonichi Cousin flip. So if this is something that interests you, stick around. Okay. Let's see. So this was my... This year at a glance with all of the Coffee Monster Co. Disclaimer, this entire planner is Coffee Monster Co. Um, if you've been around the channel for a bit, you know. <laughs> okay. Let's get to the good stuff. All right, guys. I didn't use my perpetual calendar this year. Um, that's that like 2% that I didn't use in the planner. But um, I really was, like, when I first looked at this, I was like, wow, the progression. So we'll go over all the monthlies and then we'll continue from there. So here was, I decided to, I wasn't, I was in a happy planner before the Hope and Two Cousins. So um, I decided to hop right in in December and do a December um, layout or monthly. I've got my January, February, so these are all Coffee Monster Co. This was, I think, just a mixture of um, emojis and some washi. This was for February. It was a February kit, but I think it was for a bullet journal. Um, March, I just used some different components of like seals and stickers for March. April, I used a kit. I used her April monthly kit. May, I used an April kit, I mean a May kit, a monthly kit. Words today are extremely hard. <laughs> it's June, I used the June kit, and I don't know why I wasn't using kits before now, but here we are. July, I think this one is probably one of my favorites. I love him sitting there with his kebabs. August, September, this was, if you remember, I used a um, regular kit um, for my monthly because I accidentally bought the wrong one, but it worked out really well. And a lot of you liked this on the side here, and I think I, I quite liked it also. October, one of my favorites. November, also another favorite, probably just because it's my birthday month. And then we have December. And I didn't do one for January. I actually jumped into my Hobonichi Cousin 2024 for January. Stick around for that. Um, if you are interested in subscribing to the channel, go ahead and do that now and then hit that bell notification so you're always notified when we come out with something new on the channel and be on the lookout for um, January's monthly on New Year's Day, which is tomorrow, January 1st, 2024. And then I'm not doing anything for February and March. Maybe I'll use it for like some reflection or journaling. But if I'm going to be completely honest, we're going to go with probably not going to happen. <laughs> okay, so let's see if I can remember what kits I used. This was the winter kit. Um, icy something. I forget what it is. But I really liked this. This was like my beginnings in this planner. Completely new planner for me. Still finding my way around it. This was a new chapter. I loved this kit. I actually have it again to use because I absolutely love the colors and I like how it's a new chapter and just starting over. And then this one is the self-care kit. And again, you can still see that I'm like finding my way around this planner and trying some different things out. This was Lunar New Year, Year of the Rabbit. I love this one, it was so cute. 
Um, I believe this one was Midnight, the Midnight Kit. Yes which I absolutely I love the colors. This one still probably is one of my favorites because I absolutely love these blues and these tans together. Um, which one was this one? This was Classic Emodies, I think. And then this is when, let's see. Ooh. So this is when I started doing the Miracle Morning and I started my chart. So what was that? Second week of January? Week third week of January I started and I still do it to this day. So that's pretty awesome. I feel like that's a huge victory for me to be that consistent with something. Um, this one I think I used, I used a new chapter again, which really great about these kits is that there's definitely more than enough to make it last and you can use it a couple of times. And then this one, was a Valentine's Day one maybe? I don't remember, but this was for, I believe, a mini kit. And the mini kits are sized a little larger than the Hobonichi kits. Um, and if you've been around for the, for a little bit, I ordered a bunch of them by accident, but you can just cut them and stick them on here. <clears throat> this was City Life, I think. I also love this one because I love the, the colors. The blues in this are so pretty. Um, this one, I don't know what this one was. Snail mail, maybe? Yeah, I think this one was snail mail. And again, I have my Miracle Morning and then my sleep tracker. This one was one of my favorites. This was Enchanted Forest. Really like this one. I like the colors in this. But I think this is when I kind of started really finding my way around and becoming a little bit more... Like my, my sidebar looks the same and then finding my way in this part of the planner as well. This was a gloomy day. Let's see, this one, this one has to do with, oh, it's a new day. That's what this one is. This one's cute. I liked this one. I think I went with this one because I was having a bad week or something. This one is spring spring one. I like this one. I wasn't a huge fan of this washi. Like after the fact, adding it in, um, when I look back on it, I'm like, eh, I could have done without it. <laughs> but I do like the way that this layout came out. And again, I still have my sorry bar going on here. I'm pretty excited about that. And then this, um, I don't remember the name of this kit. This was a new release though, I believe. I can't remember. But I really like this one too. And which is, you know, funny because I don't normally do rainbow I'm not a huge fan of like rainbow um but again I like to challenge myself at times I think this is when we went to Pennsylvania relaxing visiting with family yep and then this one I think I just used some leftover stickers these are like monthly um monthly designs that I used in here just to kind of come up with my own thing and be a little creative this one was into the woods love this one This was the birthday one because this was Weston's birthday week. Not my favorite color combination. I like more um, the neutrals and the blues, but it was Weston's birthday week. So we went all out. This was Spencer's birthday week and we did self-care. This was a good one. I like this one. She likes to do face masks. So I felt like it was very much, um, very much her. With the pinks and the purples. This one I absolutely love. So I used Manilin Plans and I think it we just told me it was the March kit. No, it was a fall kit, which was so funny because I used it in May because even though like, yes, these two, these are fall colors, but to me, they were just more neutral summer colors, I guess. I don't know. I thought they were really cute. Um, and this uh, set by Mandy Lynn Plans is probably like my favorite. I adore this. And then of course I added in my friend, Coffee Monster Co. This one, I believe, is under the sea because we're kind of like getting ready to be into summer. And then this one, I think I just added a bunch of things. So I think I did the mini kit. It might have been like a springtime one. And then I added this strip at the top and I put, and I added in these day of the week at the top, which I think these might have come from Andy Lynn Plans also. Can't remember for sure. So cute. I really like how this came out, actually, with the days of the week on the top. 
This one is Desert Stroll. I love this one. And I was waiting eagerly, like patiently to use this one because I was waiting for it to be like hot. And it took a little bit, but we got there. <laughs> I really like how this one came out. This one, I'm not a huge fan of this one. If I have to say, like, this is probably one of my least favorite ones. But this was, um, I think I used the Floral Large Doodles from Coffee Monster Co. And this washi tape came from the washi tape shop. And I do like how it came out. I don't know, it was a little too pastel-y maybe for me. I, I can't quite figure it out. Maybe it was a little too rainbowy. I pushed myself a little too much. <laughs> okay, and then this one is um, achievements, I think. Achievements are something. Um, this was because Weston graduated fifth grade. And that was on this day. And at the top, I used working, the working um, um, washi. I think that's what it was. And then I used these um, days of the week. These are mandolin plans, I believe. And this one was the summer beach day, maybe, the kit. And I'm still using my sidebar. And I'm kind of like starting like a, a system of how things kind of, the washi at the bottom and things like that. And then my sidebar, like I said. And then I used, oh, I love this washi so much. And I'm actually kind of sad because she came out with like the inverted, like the black version. And I was like, Oh, I already have tons of this one, but now I'm like, oh, I should have gotten that. <laughs> but this was just a collection of different um, doodles and stickers that I had left over with some washi to create this spread. This one, same thing. I used a little bit. It looks like, I think it was a little bit of the kit. Um, oh, I forget what it was. Happy day or a new day. I don't remember now. But I used a little, like not a kit, but like a little sticker sheet. And then I used some wash. I believe this came from Mandolin Plans. And then I have this one. I like this one. Um, it's a little too colorful for me, but I do like this one. And I, I'm not sure. I really liked this washi at the time. And it kind of brought out, for me, the different artworks. I think that um, when I did this, I put this, I had already put this down. And I kind of wish that I put it there. But it worked out good. And this was... Um, if I remember correctly, these were my bean cards, I think. Let's see. This one was Rainbow Something. It was terrible. I can't remember all of them, though. Um, I liked this one a lot. I like this washi. It's so pretty. With, like, just a little bit of, like, a blue foil in it. Oh, it's gorgeous. And then I used a stamp. July and then this was I used like fruit large doodles and just kind of created my own got a little artistic here and just did a few things that's my tab it's falling off I'm telling you guys it's like a dinosaur ate my book I don't know what happened okay um this was a mixture of I think self-care and then I have this is a self-care washi This one is probably one of my favorites. I love this one. This was the July snail mail. No, snail parcel. I got this and I like used it all. Um, so I use all these stickers. They're washi stickers. They just feel so nice on the paper. Um, I absolutely loved it. So I just went to town. I think I used them all the week that I got them. Um, and then I used my Energel Klena. I don't know if I have it handy. This... The Energel Klena, it's Klena, it's uh, 0 0.5 and it's in beautiful brown color. It just went with the spread so nicely. It was one of my favorites. Um, let's see, this one, I don't know. I think I used Classic Emoti for this one. And I really like this one, like nice, like muted blues and purples. <clears throat> this one is, oh no, Taylor Swift. So this must have been the rest of my kit um for the midnight's version the midnight's kit i think i like these too obviously i didn't fill out my chart too much that day or that week i should say this week was bad i had migraines let's see and then this one is more of a new day i think this one was actually for the cousin where the other one was a mini kit 
This one, oh, this was like back to school and academics because the kids went back to school. But as you can see, I did not really fill this this one out. Um, apparently, the beginning of September is quite busy. And then this one, oh, I had migraines all week. So it's never good when I have migraines. So this is one of the two or three weeks that I actually did not really fill out, um, except for like the major important things. This one, I love this one, guys. This was September. Um, this was the fall or the autumn kit. I did the deluxe kit because I wanted the washi um, that went with it. I really love this. I love the orange with the turquoise. So cute. So pretty. This is probably one of my favorites also. This one, I combined some Happy Planner. I used some of the modern bush, bookish stickers. Um, and then I brought in some of the... Um, reading washi from Coffee Monster Co. And of course I added in some of my, some of the emojis. And then up top, I did some washi from the Happy Planner book. And then I just added in the days and used emoji heads. And now we're in spooky season, my favorite. I love this. This is a cozy Halloween kit. Um, I think this one came out really, really good. And I like, um, I just really like the muted colors, like the greens and the purples, like just perfect, well done. And then we did this one. This was Sweet Treats, I believe. I liked this one. Um, I kind of like how I kept it mostly black and white up here and then had like the color down here. It was completely done by accident, but I do like how it looks now after the fact. And then I was playing around with different things and I, color, I cl colored in my dots for sleeping. That's kind of cute. Um, okay, so this one, let me see. This one, again, I used the Enerdale Clement in this brown color, and this was um, some more of the cozy Halloween. This one came out really nice. I like how this looked with like that brown and purple. This is the May subscription kit. I just went to town and I used all of it on here with some of the cozy Halloween washi, I believe. Like my kids always have some sort of sitting here looking at these things it's like how many like uh what do you call it um oh my gosh I can't think of the word like weeks where you get dress up like they have hat day and wear red day and uh, I can't think of the word um so this one in October and we just had one spirit week there we go found the word okay this one I used what did I use on here I think I just used some fall headers and some of my fall kit. I think that's where this came from. The pumpkin um, washi. And I used some of the, hot, the fall town stickers. We were transitioning. So it was like, we weren't quite at Halloween yet. And then we were getting into this day was Halloween and I decorated basically for fall all around it. And then I used a little bit of this and a little bit of that with this. So I used the fall washi. And then I have like, this is from September, but I just really thought it went well with the colors and the, the neutrals. And then this was from November for the monthly artwork. And then here we still stayed with the neutrals and I just added in some washi on the top. This came from, I believe the, this subscription. Yeah, came from here. And then this was the pumpkin washi and I have my, my sidebar going on, but this was just like a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Oh, okay. This, <laughs> this was, if you guys go down a few videos, I did four different ways, like four different layouts so you can use your hope in each week. So this was just like a, a demonstration week because we had COVID and I did not do anything. Um, okay, and then here we are going into Christmas. Here we're going into December, and I decided to decorate all of um, all of it in Christmas. I don't remember what the name of that kit was. This was sweet baking, maybe holiday baking, holiday chair, maybe holiday baking. I love this one. I love the colors in it. It's so so cute. This one is more of holiday cheer, I believe. I like how this one filled up nicely. I love after the pen in this planner, especially. And then we went all out for Christmas and we did the traditional red and green and just psh, all over the page. I really like actually how like this one came out. 
And let's see, for the 52nd week, I actually, today is Sunday, New Year's Eve. Um, I actually have to go back and fill in these last couple of days. I haven't had a chance to, and then fill out the rest of my trackers. But I do like how this came out. I'm kind of like trying to transition. You know, we're gonna do like an ombre out of the <laughs> red and green and just kind of go into pinks and blues and so a little bit of green, um, cause Christmas was on Monday. And get ourselves into a winter theme. <clears throat> Even though it has not been very cold here, it's been rainy and like quite yucky. This was my 2023 vision board. Um, I have to say, um, I pretty much accomplished a lot of what was on here. The basement is um, a work in progress, so, but we accomplished so much down there. YouTube, um, my Etsy shop, the only thing I haven't added to it and I'm planning on in 2024. I have like a list of things that I need to do. Um, and we didn't go to New Orleans, but maybe, maybe this year. Uh, my word of the year was intentional. I still haven't. I still haven't come up with my year of the word yet. But we're working on it. We'll get there. Okay. So this is a great idea if you're looking for something to do for these first two pages that go into... Um, I have it separated with some um, vellum. And then I used... Uh, what is this? Oh, acetate. Just so I could have this on the top. The daily... Um, section this year I'm actually just using tabs but this is a great idea like you could do a two-page vision board you could have it divided with some vellum you could have this be like maybe new new year's resolutions or maybe some action plans to help attain your vision board and then just you know tip in some pages if you want all right, guys, let's see the progression in the daily pages. This is the new year. I'm not going to go through every single page, but you can see how I was like playing around with hand lettering. That was something I wanted to learn and get better with this year. So I just practice and practice. Um, the more you write, the more you use it. Like every day it went, I would just doodle and try to get better at it. This was my nephew's wedding. I wore a pantsuit. Oh, loved it. It was so cute. This is so nice. And this was the first trip that the Hobonichi came on with me, actually. We went to Pennsylvania. And then we've got some self-care. Again, I'm trying to... Oh, January. I mean, yeah. January, Friday the 13th. Ooh, spooky. Still trying to find my way. We had this, like, um, crazy... Me and Spencer were trying to draw flowers. We we're testing out some fountaining. Um, still, again, trying to work out on how I want my lettering to look. And um, I started journaling in the colored pen too. And I don't think I I don't do it very often in here because I'm not a huge fan. I don't mind planning in a color, but I don't really like journaling in it. And like even like some of these pens that I was using early on. <clears throat> you can see as we progress, this black ink gets darker. I'm starting to get better with my hand lettering and figure out my way and how I want it to look. Oh, I love that. I embrace the present moment. This was, I think I used part of the Midnight's Kit. Oh, I like this section. So I started trying to do this thing and I still kind of stick with it where when I decorate for the week, I try to use some corresponding stickers or at least colors to um, complement that. Everyone is sick. Oh. Hold the vision, trust the process. So I think I started using some, I have an app, it's called I Am, and then it gives you like little, um, what's the word affirmations and I started using those at the top I am a powerful capable human being and then I have my Carly pages I was doing that for a while uh, I'm not sure how long I stuck with that it was one of those things that if I did it I did it I do not put pressure on myself um to get all the pages filled out so if I did it great if I didn't it's okay too the coldest day ever oh my gosh we're getting there again. This is February. <laughs> Let's see. Lazy day today. And I was using the classic emojis, I guess. I love this washi. So I have the fountain pen emo uh, washi. And then I have 
the cafe um, uh, washi here. Monday morning, I'm so sleepy. And then I was kind of like in a neutral vibe. I really, this is my favorite color ever. Um, my favorite Tombow, N79 maybe, 78. Oh goodness, I might have to get a new one. Oh wow, okay, so February 10th, 1,000 subscribers. That's when the channel hit five, uh, 1,000. That's amazing. We just recently hit 4,000 about like four days ago. So it's pretty awesome. Thank you, thank you. Um, speaking of, if you're interested in subscribing to the channel, go ahead and do that now. Hit the notification button. And um, so you're always reminded when we come out with something new. And if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel and we really, really appreciate it. So let me know, um, I'm curious, down in the comments, let me know if you, if you popped onto the channel before we hit a thousand or after. I'd love to know. Like what time of the year it was. Was it in February? Was it during the summer? Okay. Super Bowl Sunday. Ew. We were rooting for the Chiefs. <laughs> Valentine's Day. I choose to be positive and enjoy today. So I was, I was liking that. Thursday, so tired. And then I was practicing my doodling. Saturday, oh my God, it was so cold. So chilly. Love this. Um, oh, so this is from the biomes. It's washy. And now I have like the whole winter scene. Let's see, it's a new week. I don't think I was having a good week. Today's highlights. Oh, sometimes if I just have a migraine and I'm not doing anything all day, I'll use this page to like write down highlights. Or sometimes I use emojis to do like my to-do list. Oh, and I got some new washi. Went out to dinner with a friend. Date night with Joe. Life is what you make it. A bundle up, oh my gosh. I wonder if that's when we had, like, it was really cold. Like, below zero cold. Sunday fun day. Oh, I finished my book. Reminders of him. Oh, that was a good book. I remember that. I definitely did not read as, much, as many books as I wanted to this year. But I think if I tally it up, I probably read about 13 books this year. So it's not terrible. But I'd like to do better. It's a snow day. Was it a school day? Yeah, did we do distance learning? Oh, I was excited that we had one snow day because we, we didn't think, I didn't think we were gonna have any. That's right, I remember this. So this was, we had distance learning this day because I think we get like five of them. If there's a snow day, they do distance learning. It's not fun. But um, I think that because the kids had, yep, they had to do, um, They had to do schoolwork all day, and then by the time Wes got outside, it was starting to rain a little bit, but Joe went out, and, and they built a snowman, and it melted because it started raining. That's how our, our winter was last year. It would snow just like a very small amount, and then the rain would wash it away. And it's seeming like that might be what happens this year, too, but one good, good, one good snow day. No distance learning, please and thank you, but one good snow day. Okay, let's say back to school rainy day rainy day <laughs> it rained a lot this year let's see oh my mom and dad came over we played cards we got a new dishwasher oh, that's right it was march i have to write that down joe and i were just talking about that let's see what else oh this is all the stuff that i got from the seven year anniversary a sale from the coffee monster co i doodled it all out and i was so excited because i actually was able to get what i wanted the dishwasher came on monday Oh, The House Made Secrets. That book was good, too. Not feeling good. Oh, having migraines really takes a toll on me. Let's see. Friday Junior. That's what Weston calls Thursdays. I really like the, the colors here. This color combination. I like how this came out.
played cards. Me and Joe played cards. We had, oh, we watched Disney's Strange World. I didn't really like it. I gave it two and a half stars. I guess, you know. Oh, and I messed up. I spelled the movie wrong. <laughs> I concentrate when I'm like writing with my hand lettering and then I forget how to spell the word. French toast and eggs. Cards with mom and dad. We played cards a lot this year. My Amazon orders. Oh, this is Daylight Savings. Rainy day, migraine. Yeah, oh, and then it starts snowing. <laughs> Rain and then snow. <laughs> Probably had so many migraines this year because the weather was all over the place. Let's see. What a great day. Busy. Oh, we went shopping. It was Wednesday. First thing I'm on reading this. I applaud you all. Thursday. Long day. Oh, new book. Red, the Redhead of Auschwitz. Oh, that was good. I like that book. Um, let's see. Great night. Today's highlight. Spent some time reading and just unplugged for a little while. Playing cards with Joe for a while. I kicked his butt. <laughs> Playing Candyland with the kids. That was a nice day. It was Saturday. That's how I like to spend my days. And Sunday fun day. I cleaned the house. Um, oh, and I posted... My first vlog, I think. I was really proud of that. And I cleaned my house. And then I used this vellum. vellum. I just tipped it in um, to mark the first day of spring. Very colorful for spring. Oh, um, another Coffee Monster Co. order was coming in. It was two days early. I was pretty excited about that. First full day of spring. I love this washi. <laughs> All right, let's see what's going on here. Gloomy day. We made it to Friday. Oh, my mom had COVID. That's right. All that time, I was like, don't give mom COVID. And then mom got COVID. And then I was scared that mom gave me COVID. And then... Okay, so that was Friday. I was feeling that. I wasn't feeling good. That's right. I started to not feel well. I had family game night. I did a COVID test. I was negative. Do I have COVID? <laughs> um, we weren't sure. I took the test. It was like barely a line. We weren't even sure what it was. You could kind of see it, but you kind of couldn't. So I quarantined and then I went for a PCR test. <clears throat> Let's see. So Weston got sent home because he was stuffy and I also had to take him for a COVID test. COVID results. Yes or no? It was no. Me and Weston were both negative. I was worried about my mom. She was having some trouble breathing. I think this was like the one only time that she had trouble breathing <clears throat> and she had an inhaler and then once she got past that she was fine. I mean like still sick but fine. Busy day. Happy Friday. Weston was sick. Of course. Why not? Um, he was so sick. Oh, I remember that. He was really sick, but he did not have COVID. We checked him a bunch of times, but he slept. He was just not feeling well. My April currently page. Oh, I did use one of these. Um, April Fools. Hmm. Autism Awareness Day. Let's see. I did not like this one. So I had gotten green ink for my fountain pen. Um, and I, I think that if I used it to, to just plan with, it would have been fine. But I did not like it writing with it. <laughs> this was not my favorite one. And then I also used the purple here. It was okay. Purple was better than the green. I wanted it to be darker, though. Um, Let's see. Oh, this was from the washi tape. No, this was wrong, wrong. That's right. I forgot I got these from wrong, wrong. So pretty. When we're sleeping till PA, but we're going on a road trip. Oh, so I was stressed. Coffee time, relaxing shower, planner time, and reading. So this is what I was talking about. This is what I do sometimes. Like if I'm not gonna actually have like a to-do list, um, I add in like stickers with like a little like blurb of what it was. So this was our first day in PA and all the different things that we did. Um, we did some Easter egg painting. I did some journaling. I enjoyed some coffee and some downtime with my family. Um, oh, we went and got some yellow peeps for my mother-in-law. And then I read some of my new book. 
and I did some editing, and then I ate too much food. <laughs> we had, oh, great way to start a day. We had donuts. And then this was my, I guess my Easter spread. I don't know. I wasn't really going to sit in my planner for a long time, but at night after the day was over, I had a chance to doodle a little bit. And then when we came home, I printed out some pictures. I just used a sticker paper because I, I didn't want the weight to get too much. Um, and then I just printed out some of our pictures from our trip. And I just talked about it a little bit. And went to see the Mario movie. Oh, we, we did. I did nothing this day. We took the kids to a movie. And then I just wrote about it. And I had a migraine. Why not? <laughs> and this was the last day of our April vacation. I need to recharge. Excited to get out with Lauren. Oh, I was going out to dinner. It's the weekend. We had some time with my parents. I hadn't seen my mom for two weeks because she had COVID. Pretty yuck. It's a gloomy day. It's tomorrow, Tuesday, too. I really wish I didn't have to go to work tomorrow. <laughs> Um, I really need some downtime. Yeah, I was just feeling like I just needed some time like after like the vacation and the time with the kids and then I think I was having a lot of migraines. I was struggling a little bit. Ooh, this is the whole, these are the spreads that I really like. So some of these I did my own doodles. I don't know which ones. These are stickers because they're washi stickers, but some of them I did doodles because I didn't want to run out of the stickers. Like, oh here, like these. These were all my doodles. Day off migraine today, got my nails done. So I upped my Amnivig to the 140 milligrams. I think it was in like September because I was looking at this and I did have a lot of migraines. Typically I was used to getting like four to five migraines a week. Then when I started Amnivig, I wasn't getting them as much, maybe like two a month kind of thing. And then all of a sudden I started like kind of looking at this and I was like, oh wait a minute, I'm getting them like every week again. So we upped that, but not until September. Boring day, lazy Saturday, rainy Sundays. All it did was rain, my goodness. What a Monday, what happened here? This this girl literally came in and boy do I need it. What a day it's been, I'm so burnt out. Joe too, hoping to relax in bed tonight. I'm so tired and restless. Weston's birthday. We took him to the Texas Roadhouse. That was pretty cool. Friday Junior, rain, sunny, rain, sunny, rain, sunny. Hoping to finish Unmissing. Oh, that book was good too. May 1st. Oh, we, Weston's fun thing that he wanted to do for his birthday was he wanted to go to this convenience store on, it's Globe Street Convenience and they sell like snacks from different countries. So we did that and I just doodled what we got. Let me currently, crazy weather today. Is this when we had like a hurricane? <laughs> good morning, the weather has been strange. Woke up to beautiful sunshine and now in a double rainbow, then really got dark and started a downpour. Like one of these days we had like a tornado. Reading week. Um, what a week and it's always Wednesday. Migraine again. This weather that we were having. Skip the page. Cold and rainy, Friday finally, I got my nails done. May the fourth be with you. <laughs> it's girls day, me and a friend of mine took, so Spencer has the same birthday as her, one of her besties. So we took them to get a manicure and a pedicure. That was fun. <clears throat> it's Spencer's birthday, I really didn't write too much because I was not in my planner that day. It's Monday again, sick or allergies? <laughs> Oh, super sick. And apparently I was sick. I did a whole day of nothing. I was so sick. Oof. Let's see. I'm so ready for today to be over. Plans changed. Let's see. Two were supposed to be for me. That's a, the couch watching YouTube, falling asleep. Oh, that's right. Joe had to take my car because his car is not working. Mother's Day. To do. Make lunches, mom, dad, lunch, relax. <laughs> it's always a to-do list, even on Mother's Day. Let's see, migraine, hump day. Goodness. Finally Friday. Tough week. 
I think I was having a lot of, I was having a tough year too. It was really stressful working at the preschool for me. And though I am very happy that I did it and um, that I took the time um, and that I was there and I tried, um, but it was really just a stressful thing for me um, working at a special needs preschool and then having to come home and, and work with a special needs child is a lot. So I think this year was a little stressful um, in that respect and just feeling very burnt out. But I am glad that I did it and I do not regret any of it. But that's why I'm very stressed out a lot of these days. Oh, this is a party. What a long day, but it really was a great day. Oh, we had um, Weston and Spencer's birthday party. Not a fantastic day. Yeah, I didn't go to work this day. Just having a really hard time with just different things, just stressful things. I don't know. Feeling very overwhelmed. Okay, let's see. Just another day in the neighborhood. <laughs> Oh, this is when we found out Joe needed to have hand surgery. We had a productive day. Saturday vibes. Amazon order. But I just like how you could see the progression. That's what I really love about journaling and being able to see the progression from throughout the year. Oh, my doodles. Things we got done today. We got Weston's glasses, we got Weston a haircut, picked up some groceries, and I picked up an Ulta order. Let's see, oh, my June Carling page. I made it pretty pretty far on my Carling pages. It was just recently. Freedom, why am I free? Kids are both in school today. <laughs> Thank goodness. <laughs> My kids were sick a lot last year. I think a lot of that had to do with me working at the preschool and bringing it home to them. Happy Friday. We made it to Friday. Loving the doodles. Okay, so I made all these. To go with the theme. Manic Monday, Sunday fun day. What a week. And it's only Monday. See, struggle boss. <laughs> oh, that's right. So, Weston had his concert his clarinet concert and his chorus concert and I was in the building like I was in the gym and my phone was ringing and I looked down at it and it said the school's name and I'm like that's weird I'm standing in the school so I picked it up and it was the nurse saying that Spencer was not feeling well and then I needed to the nurse called me as I was starting um And then I had to go pick him up. Let's see. Today was the best of days. Feeling stressed and worried. Like, oh, wait a minute. Maybe. Yeah, this was it. Oh. He had one on Saturday too, praying he doesn't get migraines. Okay, I'm writing, sorry, I'm like rereading this. Um, okay, so this was me starting to realize that I probably wasn't gonna be back to work. Um, Cause June was really, really busy. break and Joe's surgery. Okay, so I already scheduled certain days off for certain reasons. I think Spencer, well, that was back in January when she was, I was like literally in the school and they called me because that did happen, but I think that was actually in January because it was the winter one. Um, this was Weston, he had a migraine, I had to go pick him up. We had a really bad headache, which he's had like three. We were hoping that those don't continue, but I was kind of struggling because I had already scheduled off a bunch of days for different things for like field day and like concerts and graduations and stuff. And then Joe was having his surgery. So I ended up um, just basically telling them I wasn't coming back for the year because it was only like gonna be four days that I would be in. So, um, and that was a hard decision for me to make. But again, I don't regret it. This was Joe's surgery day. Very stressed out, so stressed out, oh my goodness. 
I can do this. <laughs> Joe was still sleeping. He's going to get an okay night. I was very tired. But I was really worried um, and stressed. Then I went to field day for a little bit. Spencer was like super excited. They were both really excited that I went to field day. And I did field day with them. Um, oh, and then I had to take Joe to the doctor's because they bandaged his hand too tight. It was like blocking circulation. And, like he had like a, a sore. It was fun. All aboard the Hot Mess Express. <laughs> All right, let's see. Spencer's dance recital. That was amazing. My tiny dancer. I was so proud of her. It was so, so good. So good. And I was so proud of her. She was like in five dances. She did amazing. I might be biased, but that's fine. I'm mom. I'm allowed. Um, let's see. Feeling like I've been running a marathon. It was such a week. Oh, goodness. Mood change. Um, let's see. And Spencer went out to dinner with a friend. Let's see. Last Monday of third and fifth grade. What a cop out. Can you move that? Oh. This is when the school decided. So they were doing work in the school and they needed to go to another building. And they said, okay, no more school. We're going to do distance learning for the last two days of school. And, um, I don't know. They haven't worked on the school yet. So I don't know why they did all that. But Spencer got sick. I remember Spencer was pretty sick. Spencer was sick at home again. I was having trouble. I was getting nervous because it was like right at the end of school. I'm like, this kid's not gonna be able to be in school. And you know, it's like the last days of school. So she was sick on Wednesday, home again, sick on Thursday. What did she even have? <gasps> Hope we get the kittens. Name ideas, Willow and Poppy, Willow and Tilly, Thelma and Louise, Tilly. Remember about Tilly, okay. Shrimp and feta spaghetti. Mm. That sounds delicious. Oh, this is when we get the girls. Well, we were getting close to get the girls. And then this was Weston's graduation. I think I did send Spencer to school that day, but she ended up leaving early just because Weston left early. <clears throat> and those were the awards that he got. It's a rainy day, but pretty awesome. This is when we found out we were getting the girls. Well, and Poppy. Oh, they were so tiny. Um... <clears throat> Let's see. Happy Father's Day. No school because it was Juneteenth. The last day of third and fifth grade. The unofficial. Because then we were going to do distance learning. Which I didn't think my kids were going to do it. But I guess they did. I did a 10 minute Jillian Michaels workout. <clears throat> that might have been the only day I did it. <laughs> no to do's today. I had a migraine, so I just kind of went, and this is what I used for, like, my to-dos or what happened. That one was a bad one. Um, yeah. <clears throat> I was up at 5.30. I took my medicine. I got up at 7.15. I still wasn't feeling good. 11. Ugh. And then my mom and I went out for dinner. I probably felt a little bit better. Um, oh, Friday. So far, no migraine. We had a pool day. Sun came out, we went in the pool. Oh, finished organizing Spencer's room. All right, let's 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 keep going. Let's see, what else? Feeling blah, nice walk to the docks. Oh, we picked up the kittens. Happy gotcha day. So that was on the 29th, stormy weather. Don't just storm by the stormy. I feel like one of these days we had like a tornado. I didn't do a July currently. Happy long weekend, pool day and s'mores. Oh, because it was 4th of July. Sunday fun day, 4th of July. Oh, I love these stickers. These came from the wash tape shop. And then, oh, I made strawberry shortcake for the 4th of July because it is my favorite. And it stormed so bad. Like we barely got the burgers and the dogs on and off the grill before the skies just opened. It was like complete downpour. It worked out okay, it was just the doors. Beautiful day, vet day. That's when we took the, kid, the girls to the vet for the first time. Headache. <laughs> I definitely need to find a place, maybe Hawaii, that was like no humidity. Because that gets me. Friday vibes. Never a lie. That was a good book too. Let's see. So hot. Oh, then this is when it started getting really hot. 
Spacey summer, but still rainy day. Rain all day. Goodness, I think it rains like all year, like every day. That's what it seems like. Beautiful day, so hot. Feeling lazy. Oh, and then this is another. I love these kind of to-do lists. They're like just super fast. And like usually it's when I'm kind of going back and I'm like back planning and I'm just writing down everything that I did. Just adds a little extra to the spread. Stormy Sunday. Migraine again. The kittens are driving me bananas. I forgot what it was like to have kittens. Um, they, the little crazy things. They just climb the curtains. Poppy thinks my feet are toys. <laughs> <laughs> let's see finally friday beautiful day rough start oh this is when i found out you need a new car and i was feeling a bit stressed because why oh because i couldn't get my i think i was having trouble with a video thing that, that i was using a video app to edit my videos and then i couldn't get them up on youtube and it was really stressed me out and this is me and Joe's anniversary, and we went and got a car. Not because we wanted to, but because we needed to. And then we went to Haruki's for dinner. Feeling good. What a good morning. Boba tea. Oh, I took the kids for boba tea. Spencer's been begging me for boba tea. That was a long day. It was a nice day, though. Pool day. Finally Friday. Plans changed. Oh, play day. Pool day. Plans changed. Oh, well, Spencer understands. I'm trying to pivot. Why? What were we doing? Oh, I don't know why that changed. Hmm. Hmm. Saturday, fabulous day. Another to-do list with my emojis. Let's see. Rest and recharge. That's when I started, I think, realizing that I wanted to unplug on Sundays. Last day of July. I didn't do in August currently. Let's see. Emotional day. Why? Oh, I was just feeling emotional. And then I got a migraine, which is when I, that's why I start tracking things like my mood and stuff so I can figure out if it's going to lead to a migraine. I started going through like this really anxious period in the summertime. <clears throat> storms, no storms. <laughs> Happy Saturday. My anxiety was off the chart. Helen's birthday sale. We had a nice day. Another to-do list with some emojis. Ice cream cures everything. Oh, I remember this night we went to the inside scoop. Oh, and then this goes with the spread that I did. And again, I, oh, no, sorry, Bo. We're not doing that. This was like that brown ink, and I didn't really like it. I did it for two pages, but then I went back into using the black ink. Great day with my girl. Oh, me and Spencer went shopping. That's right. Weston went to my mom's for a bit. We went school shopping. Shopping with kids is exhausting. Yes. Date night. Oh, because Joe and I were sick on our anniversary, so we finally went out. Oh, my mom was sick. Someone was sick. Had some pool time. Feeling refreshed because I had a nice day to myself. I don't have it there. I spilled it. Sunday, pretty chill day. I was playing around with some stamps. Stormy day. Goodness. So much rain. Migraine today. If you notice this pattern, rain, migraine. Let's see. Feeling better. I did my Amnivig. Bo, we're not playing. He thinks that I'm playing with him. Oh, this was the day. There's tornado warnings, like touching down everywhere. Oh, it's so scary. My mom called me up and I'm like, no, mom, what are you talking about? And I turn on the news and I'm like, oh. <laughs> they were more north. No, Bo, you cannot lay on there. Give me. Yeah, I didn't believe her, and I turned the news on, and they were, like, touching down, like, more north of me, but still crazy. No social media. I started to unplug. <clears throat> it's the weekend. Today's plan. Oh, we obviously did a lot. Pet store, candles. Um, went to the arcade. We went to Main Street in East Greenwich. All right. Excuse me, kitty. I cannot be on here. Pardon the kitten. All right. Let's see. What else we got going on here? freedom I think that oh yeah the kids went with my mom and dad all day and I was I had a day to myself 
I did some meditation, I washed my hair, and I just had some me time relaxing, and I grabbed some Starbucks. Rain day. Rain again. Rain. <laughs> Rain. <laughs> Spencer got a haircut. And then we're getting ready for getting back to school. I made some lists for the kids and what they needed. Let's see. I had a migraine again 13 hours later. I ended up going out and getting all the things that I needed to get done. Migraine and orientation. Oh, we had orientation at both Weston and Spencer School on the same night. It was lovely. Feeling really good. My September goals. Lazy day, no stress. Pumpkin cold brew from Starbucks because it was September 1st. When did my kids go back to school? I think they went back after Labor Day. Fun in the sun. And then this is when, like, the sun and the weather actually started getting really nice. Um, let's see. First day. Yep. First day of fourth grade and middle school. One day down, 179 to go. Day two of two. Day two of school. Oh, this is... Oh, it was so hot. It was like a bajillion degrees out. We went from like cold, rainy crap weather to like 90. <laughs> 99 and humid. So my neighbors came over and went to the pool. And then uh, day alone, or is it? And they already canceled school because it was going to be too hot for them to be at school. So that was Thursday. Then I went back to school on Friday. I passed my blood pressure. Oh, I went in for my physical. I was really excited. My blood pressure was good. Spencer was sick. She wasn't even in school for like three days, and she was sick. <clears throat> Definitely a cold last full day. Homesick today. Oh, Spencer was homesick. Oh, I wasn't sure if she was sick here. Homesick. She probably had a little fever. To do, rest and sleep. Of course, I have a migraine. And then this was my solution for this day, which is a Wednesday. Nope, I had, a, I had a migraine. I need to call Carol. I did call Carol. She's a mineralogist, and we ended up upping my Amnivig, So, But I made this pretty thing with my friend that night. I love that. It's pretty pumpkin centerpiece. Market day. Not sure where all that came from. Oh, <laughs> I don't know what that was. Let's see. Feeling a little bad name. At last I feel human. Great day. Oh, I got my hair done. <clears throat> Rainy, again. Rainy. You're dropping things off the desk, little man. Let's see. Oh, this is when I think I started my decluttering. These were all the things that I wanted to start. I've been trying to declutter one thing every day. Whoa. Making this difficult. Let's see. Sunny day. Feeling off. I was getting migraines again. Is it a good day. Hello, fall. What did we do this day? Went to Bull Row. We bowled. Oh, this was the day we were bowling, and there was my niece's birthday party. I unplug. Excuse me. Rainy day, but productive. Ready for my day. I want to cry now. Let's get Weston out of school. At least. Oh, this is the day that Weston got run over by the bike. It's really ran him over. Excuse me. Let's lift that up a little bit since the cat is trying to. Sorry, guys. Yeah, this was the day that Wes got run over by. Somebody on a motorcycle. I was like, my heart stopped. We ended up leaving school early on Wednesday. I think it was just really stuffy that day. Lots of shopping. Wednesdays are my shopping day. Wednesday or Thursday. Let's see. Rain and more rain. And more rain. And his first middle school dance. That was so great. We worked on the basement. And then I did this for my October. I decided to do my high and lows for the month of October. Um, a Sunday fun day. Anxious. Still anxious, but tired. I was so anxious. It was probably because of all the migraines I was having. 100 things five hours later. This was my Wednesday errand day. Some days I'm super productive, eating and drinking water. Other days I'm stuck, not eating, hungry, not drinking. Hoping that I can make make it today. Going to eat. 
and then try to pace my, myself. Made it through the day. Wow, well, that's good. Finally, Friday, sudden migraine. Gloomy day. Oh, I liked how this came out with the clouds behind it. I don't know if you guys can see that. This one was one of my favorite dailies. Then we went on a pumpkin hayride with my cousin and her daughters. It's Monday. No, Monday. It's another, another example of me messing up my hand lettering because I'm concentrating too hard. Um, I'm changing old habits to make room for new ones. Junk removal is happening. Oh, that was so exciting. They came Wednesday morning and just cleared out our basement and that was amazing. We still have a lot to do, but we've come a long, long way. Wow, countdown to Halloween, Friday the 13th. Oh, we had two this year, one in January, one in October, huh? I am stronger than my anxiety. I am. Dun, dun, dun. Friday the 13th. I actually have lucky days, but this was Spencer. She was up several times and she had a fever and she was super stuffy. So, yay. <laughs> she started feeling better. Oh, I woke up feeling better. I think my stomach was off too. I heart spooky season. Um, can I take a mental health day? I love these spreads. Halloween countdown, productive day, time to relax, good night. Let's see. Migraine this morning. I wonder if I wrote down. Oh, we watched the Gerald Dixon show. We really liked that one. Flu shots done. Happy Friday. Heading off to get my nails done and then home to do some plant life with her and stuff. I did my vlog. Rainy day again. Shocking. <laughs> Shocking, I know. <laughs> Spicy tuna poke bowl. Oh, that's right. We, we tried um, poke bowls. Very good. I love that. Actually, we might have that again soon. Sunday fun day. Oh, my kids slept over my parents' house. Almost time for Halloween. I had migraine on Monday. Why not? Oh, and then I used stickers from the May kit. I like how that looks. 5,000 <laughs> hours later. <laughs> and one bad pumpkin cold brew. Oh, that's right. Dropped off my mom when we were out for hours. And I stopped by the Starbucks near her house. And it was so bad. Um, Oh, that's when I filmed my 2024 lineup. Trunk or treats. I really like how these came out. I like the colors. Like, I like how it's neutral. I really like how this came out. And of course, spooky season. Trunk or treat number two. And, oh, and then this was Halloween itself with the kids and they dressed up. And it was cold and gloomy. And then here is my November. I was supposed to use this for my high and low, but I haven't gotten to it yet. And I went right into the pumpkin washi. Much needed time with a friend. Oh, I hung out with my friend Sarah. That was nice. I always enjoy her company couple of things that we needed to do that were important. The basement, close up the pool. Um, daylight savings, that's right. And then I was starting to feel a little off, so tired. This is like, you can kind of like, when I'm looking at this, I can kind of see the buildup. We'll see in a minute, super busy. So this was the week of daylight savings and I started feeling like really tired. I felt like I was like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, jet lagged from the time change. Um, let's see. Happy thanks, miss. That's what we're calling the season. We put the tree up on a Saturday and then this is when Prue had her like vertigo thing going on. Um, and then I think Spencer was sick. I need all the coffee. Last night was a good night, not a good night. So we had Spencer not feeling well. Sunday, what are we doing Sunday? I'm fangirling today. Helen's new YouTube for the week shows my name on a bean card. <laughs> that was so exciting. I'm still like blown away by that. Um, I was upset about Spencer being sick. And oh, this was the week that we got COVID. So I was trying to get her to the doctors and they didn't have... Ow. All right. Cat knocked everything off my desk. So I had to go pick it up. Um, I was getting really upset because I had taken her to the doctors on Friday. 
Then I called the doctor. I had no appointments, no appointments. She had a fever. She had a, definitely had an ear infection. Finally, took her to the doctor's and they gave me <laughs> medicine. Well, they gave me a prescription and then the nurse was so extremely rude. Um, what was this? I'm not sure. I like a long day, but a really good day. I'm not sure what happened here. I think Spencer was better because she was on antibiotics and I went out with my mom and I was testing like some fonts that I didn't like. Um, oh, this is when I found out I got bow. My parents told me that this is Thursday. They got me a can for my birthday. Super cute. And these were the names, Bo, Bailey, or Klaus. Obviously, we went with Bo. And this is Friday. <laughs> this is when Joe got COVID. And like this week, I was just like tired and not like, you know, I haven't done much today. You know, it was just kind of like blah. Now I know why. Feeling nervous, tired, worried, anxious, excited, and I have a sore throat. <laughs> no work. I did not work. Long day. And then I started tracking my symptoms. Sore throat, tired, brain fog, fever, sore throat, headache, body ache. I wrote no fever. And I was like, no, fever. And I took another test, but nothing. And I ended up just laying around watching Christmas movies. And then I tested positive. And we decided to call Bo Bo. Except we're spelling it B-O, not, not the way we spell Bo. COVID. COVID. Thanksgiving, where I completely lost my sense of taste and smell. We were at home anyway, so we couldn't gather with anybody, but didn't really have like the best turkey dinner. So actually today, it's New Year's Eve, my parents are coming over for a turkey dinner redo. We had Black Friday, I went out to a couple of stores. And then like, obviously there are pages that are blank, but that's okay. Sometimes I go back and fill them out, sometimes I don't, it depends. Um, it was my birthday starting to feel a little bit more human. Like I missed out my birthday stuff too. Um, I was feeling excited. Why? It's like a lot of things done. Got my bookshelves. I decluttered everything. I watched a Christmas movie. I need ideas for my mom. <laughs> I couldn't figure out what to get her for Christmas. Resting. So tired. Oh, I was having a hard time kind of like getting over the tail end of COVID. And then I ended up with a sinus infection. And then we go into December. I'll get, I'll probably go back and do my December um, currently page. Happy December. Off to the doctors I go. Oh, cause that's when I was not feeling well. So I still was like feeling not good. My sinuses hurt. So she said I had a sinus infection. Um, I unplugged. This was my orders that I put in. It was a rainy day. Happy Monday. Nice day today, not my normal Monday. Well, I took Bo to the bet. I had a productive day. Great before the quiet, the feeling that comes after I've had a productive day. IEP? This was not an IEP. Was it an IEP? Hmm. Yeah, I guess it was. It's such a big difference between elementary school and middle school. We're like blown away and we absolutely love our team this year. Thankfully, it's always hit or miss. All right, let's see, what do we do Thursday? These are the Christmas movies that I started watching. Never Kiss a Guy at Christmas Photo, I really like that one. It took me two weeks to finish watching it, but I liked it. <clears throat> me on Christmas, Meet on Christmas, and then Holiday Hotline, that one was cute too. Christmas Waltz, that one was all right. Mental is no joke. Right around this time of the year, it gets really stressful for a caregiver, our mom, and all the things, you know. We took the kids to Edenville Railroad with my um, cousin and her husband and her kids. That was really nice. Productive day. Christmas Chronicles. Watch that with the kids. Um, let's see. What else? Tis the season. Oh, so these came from, according to Allie, I decided to use all of the Christmas quotes. When did I start? I started here. Tis the season to be jolly. I want to do wow. It's good. Where is it completely shot down the west? Oh, that's right. That's when they shot down the highway. 195 westbound. They closed down the bridge. And it was taking people a very long time to get home. It took Joe three hours to get home. He had to go up to Newport. Christmas vaults. I must have finished it. Leave the world behind. I don't recommend that movie. <laughs> Let's see, these are more stickers from, according to Allie, 
I was opening my Hubman and Chub Curl Advent Calendar. It was so cute. All the stuff that came in that was so, so cute. Let's go shopping. Oh, that's right. I went and got some clothes for the kids, finishing up that Christmas shopping. And I really love how these pages came out. These are just the last few days leading up to a Christmas. We had Spencer's con concert choir or a uh, chorus qu uh, concert. I was like reading and trying to talk at the same time. It's never fun. Never had a dull moment. Spencer had a cough again. She was home, homesick. Um, deep breaths, you got this. Four days till Christmas. She came home early. And then she ended up staying in school that day, but she was late because we got hit by a bus. That was, that's right. And we had Christmas Eve and some doodles. And then I have some uh, stickers from According to Allie. And then this is some of the washi that I got from Joe or from Santa in my stocking. Merry day after Christmas. Oh, this is our first, this is, well, this is the second day of Christmas vacation, but Weston's been wanting the Wonka menu. So we went there and he got the grossest raspberry lemonade with cotton candy and sprinkles on the side of the cup. Mm -mm, no, thank you. And he had chocolate tacos and then Spencer had purple pancakes. I can't even. Five star day. I went out to dinner with my friends. And then I think it was actually Wednesday night where we hit 4,000 subscribers. I can't even. I'm still like, so thank you, thank you for that. And we saw Trolls 3. What else did we do? We went to the arcade. And then this is today. And I have um, my brother in law actually wrapped the kids' presents in this like crafting paper, I guess. So I saved pieces and I decided to use a, do a 2023 recap and then um, write down our resolutions for 2024. And I'll probably do a page in um, my 2024 planner. And I plan on maybe printing out some stickers like just from Christmas and the break and kind of like adding them back here. We'll see, I haven't quite decided yet, but if you, have stuck around this far and listened to this entire 2023 flip through in the Hobonichi Cousin. Wow. Hi. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. I truly appreciate it. I know we're all busy. Um, so hanging out with me, I really appreciate it. And um, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you're a new Hobonichi Cousin um, for 2024, um, I hope you enjoy it. I found my planner piece in this planner. I think it's great. It has everything that I personally need in it. Um, and if you have any questions or anything like that, please feel free to always reach out down in the comments below. I love our little chit chats and I always try to get back to everybody. Um, hey guys, it's January 31st. Happy New Year's Eve. Um, I'm excited to celebrate the new year with my parents and my kids and Joe and have a nice turkey dinner, play some cards. It's going to be fun. Um, I'm going to get this video up soon. So happy new year. And, um, I can't wait to see what 2024 has to offer for playing life with Aaron. I'm really excited. Um, thank you again for the 4,000 subscribers. I think we're a little over that now. So it's super exciting. Um, and yeah. I hope you have a wonderful New Year's Eve and a beautiful New Year's with all the blessings that you truly deserve. Um, if you're interested in subscribing to the channel, go ahead and do that now. Hit the thumbs up if you like this video. It helps the channel and we really appreciate it. And to be notified, hit that little bell so you're always notified when we come out with something new. And 2024 is going to have a whole a lot happening. So make sure you hit that bell notification button and until i see you again have a beautiful new year and keep planning bye